Hey y'all, say y'all. Peace and Palace Santa 6. It is your girl, Divinely Lika, and welcome to the channel. To all of my returning viewers, hey soul cousins. So happy, so blessed, so thankful to have you back. And to my new subscribers, welcome to the soul family. We're just spreading love, light, insight, and helping each other better navigate this beautiful human experience. To all the likes, the comments, and the subscribes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A million times, thank you. I'm speaking abundance and love over your life, over your life, over your life. So I am back. To those of you who didn't catch my last upload, I am battling. I'm assuming it must, I think it's the flu. Um... I'm a little bit better than I was a few days ago, but I'm like, I can't let another good day go past. So y'all just gonna have to work for work with me, okay? Snuffleupagus and all, okay? It's a lot of mouth breathing going on over here, okay? But I'm trying to not sound annoying. I just took a little day quill after the last reading. Took me a little day quill, drank a little water. And we back again like we never left. <laughs> No, for real. No, for real, y'all. Like, y'all just gonna have to work with me. Because it's just on my spirit. Like, I have to I have to do what I'm supposed to be doing right now, okay? Let me hit myself with some of this Florida water. to go let's get into it so um i was uh tugged to the power of love oracle cards today oh dang it okay here we go <laughs> yeah the power of love oracle cards today these are actually very powerful messages i don't use them this deck often on the channel but this is kind of what i was guided to so let's get into it Divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Hold on, y'all. Because my lip. You know what I was thinking, y'all? Like, when you're sick and you're using, like, one of these type of lip glosses, am I likely to get myself sick again? Probably. Probably so. This is Dior lip gloss. Like, this is good lip gloss. So we're going to have to figure something out because <laughs> this is good lip gloss. I probably should be using something else. I just can't seem to find my um my lip moisturizer, so I'm working with what I got going on, with what I got right now. But anywho, <laughs> divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love light, healing, prosperity, and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. Clear and accurate messages for the divine collective. What is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time? What is it that you want them to hear and know the most at this time? Please just block out any interferences as I get these messages across and protect my space. Any dark magic, evil I've been sent my way or to the way of my platform, I ask that you return it back to sender, magnified, and bind it to them. Any dark magic or evil I've been sent to the divine collective, I ask that you return it back to sender, magnified, and bind it to them. Protect my crown chakra. As I get these messages across and protect and open up my third eye chakra. So that I can dive deeper into my intuition. To get further clarification of the cards that come on today. Thank you so much spirit. Ashe. Ashe. And Ashe. One more. and accurate messages okay first one is action you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul tell me more spirit ownership 
You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Ownership. Okay. Tell me more spirit. Happy Pride Month and um, happy Gemini season. Guys, to my fellow gems, I am a gem myself. My birthday was on the first. I just, you know, I just bring in it. I just bring in the energy for the June Geminis. <laughs> With my sick ass. <laughs> Let me chill out, y'all. I think I, I definitely think it's the flu. Because my temperature just keep all over the place. Satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide yourself, guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. You know what I'm getting this energy of? Because when I've seen the ownership card, even though it has its own little definition here, it's like you may be somebody who's tried to control situations, you know, like to maybe validate yourself, feel like you, you know, you, you had control of your romantic situations or, you know, maybe look to certain spouses or whatever to validate you or a love interest, love interest to validate you. And maybe you're getting to a place where it's like, you know, you're learning how to find validation within yourself. That's for somebody specific. Yeah, you're learning how to be satisfied with with loving yourself. And that's a beautiful part of the of the of the self-love journey. When you get to a place where it's like, you know, I don't need where you understand that you don't need someone external to you to feel love. You don't need someone external to you to feel validated. You don't need someone external to you to feel worthy, to feel happy. You get what I'm saying? It's a beautiful part of the self-love journey. I gotta, I gotta turn the air on. Sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Uh, trying to get my temperature together. What? Trying to get my temperature together. It's like I'm hot, then I'm cold, then I'm hot, then I'm cold. Hi, Joe. Hey. Mama's doing a reading. I'm doing. I'm recording. Kay, you have your shirt off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I literally am. Like the time is going right now. <laughs> but like, keep the door open because Jojo's gonna want to get out. You know, she coming here for two seconds and want to leave. Never mind. I'll get it. Literally. She's a paid actor, so she comes in sometimes and makes a special appearance, and then she dips out crazy right anyway <laughs> tell me more spirit it's 63 degrees outside why am i burning up you know what if y'all live in the midwest be thankful okay because it really sucks when you live places where it's humid it's like humidity is just terrible like it just is and if somebody like i went to um vegas one time and I'm like, it's so crazy. I said it, y'all. Self-love. I said it. I felt it. It's so beautiful when you get to a part of your self-love journey where you understand that, you know, the the where you get to a place where you're validating yourself, where you're where you don't need someone external to you to feel love, to feel happiness, to feel worthy, to feel whatever. This is a beautiful part of the journey. Of the journey. Me in a water, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Your girl might be delirious because <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. I feel like I've been sick since like Friday, it's Wednesday. Okay, shake it off, like it's just a bit much. Okay, it's becoming a bit much. Um. But let's get into it. Let's get into the textbook definitions of these. I love this for y'all. You know what? In ownership, I'm thinking for you, it's like you're taking ownership for 
For somebody, you're taking ownership and accountability for maybe the part that you've played in your own suffering. For maybe the part that you've played in in getting your feelings hurt or whatever it may be. I know I'm at that part of my journey. Like, I can't, I can't even fault nobody. Because it's like, you know, once you get to a place where, like, somebody shows you who they are, they show you they're not worthy of your time and your attention, and you, you continue to pour into that person, it turns into it's, it turns into a situation. And this can be just for me. This may not even apply to anybody. But I'm, I'm being led to share it so maybe somebody can relate. Where, you know, once we get to a point where it's like somebody shows us who we are, and it's like we we decide to, oh, brush it to the side because, oh, maybe we like them so much or we really just want to pursue this person. And we get our feelings hurt. At that point, it's really not the person's fault. It's kind of our fault because it's like they're showing us who we are and we want to see something different. It's like, I know, I know that the flag is red, but can we please just make it pink or something? Like, no, it's just, it's just red. It's just red. It just is. Anyway, action. 27. Okay, so it says. I'm going to try to not talk so loud so I can actually get through it without my voice cracking. All right, so it says. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. The world, uh, the world is ready for you to live up to your potential with acts of self-expression. You're uniquely perfect. You are a uniquely perfect representation of source, just as you are. And the time has come for you to share yourself with the universe and enrich it with your wisdom and light. You are a teacher in the physical human school, not only with the loving words you speak, but by the compassionate, but by the compassionate and aware way you present yourself to manifest that knowledge. If you find that you have been shying away from people and situations because life has become a struggle, now is the moment for you to draw back the curtain and take center stage. Show your light. Yeah, you know what? For somebody specific, it may be a situation where it's like, you know, maybe you have been let down a, a few times in love. You've been let down a few times in love. And now you're just in a place where, like, it's like you got your guard up. I really don't want to get close to anybody. I don't want to attach myself to anybody. Like, I always seem to get my feelings hurt, whatever it may be. Maybe you were at that part. And maybe, like, this is, or maybe that's where you are now, okay? And, you know, we're all, my readings are timeless. So this can apply to past, present, or future. Take what resonates to you and your situation. Leave the rest behind. I can be talking about you or someone who's in your energy knowingly or unknowingly. Oh, my gosh, man. This is a struggle. I'm not even going to lie. Hold on. <clears throat> it's like I'm determined to, cha to channel. So I'm going to get through this coughing, pausing, and all. Like, I just am. Like, I am. Like, I just am. <laughs> so my body will have to make it work, okay? Work with me, sis, because we're going to keep pushing. And that's one period. It's like, nah. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, like you could be a person where it's just like, you know, maybe you've just been let down a couple times too many in love. You know, you, you have like this glimmer of faith with people. They let you down. And then it just got you to a place where it's like, you know what? I just don't want to be bothered with no fucking body. You know, that's just what it is. And you just been kind of keeping to yourself. Like maybe not trying to put yourself out there, not even trying to be seen too much, whatever it may be. And I feel like because of the cards that are coming after the this this action card and what this card just read, um, is that maybe you're just getting to a point where it's like, you know what, I can't even really fault maybe some of the people that, you know, let me down in love because there maybe this was a situation where I ignored red flags and I wanted to see what I what I wanted to see in people. And I'm understanding that I don't need these people to have 14, 14 on a timer. I don't need these other people to validate me, to feel worthy, to feel seen, to feel special, to feel whatever. Fuck it. I'm going to just put myself back. I'm going to put myself out there and learn how to f to fill myself up and to make myself feel good. So that's nice. Yeah. It says, but by the compassionate and aware way you represent yourself to manifest that knowledge. It's beautiful. Anyway, we're going to move on to ownership. Let's see what this is saying. 
Let's see what this is saying. Let me know, Pete. Okay, ownership. It says, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Yeah, that's kind of what the action card was just kind of saying. It says, you have reached a pivotal po a place in your spiritual journey. You are able to take full responsibility for the act. I felt it. Before I even read it, I felt it with the ownership card. You're at a place where it's like you're taking accountability for the role that you play in your own suffering, and that is beautiful. Do you know how beautiful that is? That's real healing. When you come out of the mentality of we're no longer playing victim anymore, because trust me, y'all, I had to do that. To understand it's like, you know what, I can't even fault you, buddy. Because quite frankly, you showed me who you were probably the first week and I was like oh my god I just like you so much <laughs> and got my ass toe up <laughs> got my little heart drugged through the mud trying to see faith and whatever and I don't regret any of it I was supposed to do exactly what I did to learn the beautiful lessons that I learned to evolve into this beautiful woman that I've evolved into and I'm still evolving into so I have no regrets of it but the reality of the situation is that once you get to that part of the healing journey, you are really healing. When we're no longer playing the blame game, when we're understanding that none of us are above being heartbroken, none of us are above being cheated on, none of us are above these experience, these experiences in life. Ultimately, we have to make the, the decision as what the fuck we're going to do with it. Okay, it happened. Now what? Do I allow this do I allow this this situation to continue to take my power by playing victim or do I allow the situation to empower me by finding the lesson, applying it and moving forward? Those I really feel like those are our only two options. <laughs> you know? And then some people, you know, they decide they want to they want to take what's happened to them and now I want I want to spread around the, the misery. Now it's just a cycle of hurt people hurting a bunch of people. Bullshit. You know? Bullshit. But anyway, back to the message. All right, so it says you have reached a pivotal place in your spiritual journey. You're able to take full responsibility for all your actions, thoughts, and words in this and other lifetimes. You may now step back and view your experiences objectively, realizing that you are an evolving spiritual being. Each day has brought with it a new insight into yourself. And the world around you. You don't look back on particular situations as failures. Instead, you view them as valuable feedback, providing information you need in order to learn, understand, and grow. You take ownership of your choices, aware that as a responsible being, you cannot blame your behavior your behavior on another. Everything you experience is a reflection of what is was is uh, everything you experience is a reflection of what is within you recognizing that what you say can either enlighten or depress you now speak with a purpose you choose positive and empowering words words thoughts and deeds the cornerstone of a healthy and soulful existence that is beautiful i kind of want to reread it but i need to cough <coughs> so sorry i'm so sorry y'all if that like grossed anybody y'all i apologize i should have paused it says, you take ownership of your choices, aware that as a responsible being, you cannot blame your behavior on another. Everything you experience is a reflection of what is within. Recognizing that what you say can either enlighten or depress, you now speak with a purpose. You choose positive and empowering words, thoughts and deeds, the cornerstone of a healthy and soulful existence. I love this, y'all. Look at y'all growing. And you know what? You feel so much. The next card after this, after ownership, after owning, you know, owning the part that you've played, not looking at experiences. Oh, victim, woe me, woe is me. It's just a part of life experience. It's, this, 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 is, this is something I need to experience to learn, to evolve. This was a catalyst to my growth. After having that perspective, you get a great deal of satisfaction with satisfaction being the next card. And, that's the, and this card is also green. So I feel like it's doing so much with like healing your heart chakra. Okay. 
okay, collective. <laughs> Don't get fancy on me. <laughs> Don't get fancy on me with my snuffleupagus self, yourself. Because, Lord, it is like I'm talking through my nose. Mm. I can honestly say, y'all. I so don't mind being single, but when I get sick, I be like, wow, <laughs> I'm just going to die here. <laughs> Nobody to take care of me. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. But yeah, you know, I'm just a big baby when I get sick, so it's just like, wow. If I had a partner, I'd be stressing him out. Babe! Just extra, you know, milking it a bit. And it's Gemini season. Not me being sick during my season. That ain't it. Who even gets sick this time of year? That's how, you know, I said this in the last reading. If you didn't catch it, I'm going to repeat myself. Call me a conspiracy theorist. But I don't think I got sick just from being around somebody. I genuinely think I got sick from whatever it is that they're spraying. They're spraying something outside. I genuinely feel like that. Personally, I feel like the sun doesn't look the same as what I, the sun has, I have not seen the sun be yellow. It's been like this white, bright, and I don't know, I don't know when this happened. Like, I don't know if this has been like since the solar eclipse or what. I don't, but I feel like I just kind of picked up on it like a week or so ago where I'm like, the sun don't look right. It looks like a bright white LED light. It does. It just does. It doesn't look it doesn't look right to me. <laughs> and my flowers are not responding the same to the sun either. I have a sunflower on my porch. It's normally the sunflower is faced towards the sun. My sunflower is not facing towards where the sun is beating on it at. So I don't know. You know, call me a conspiracy theorist. I have been called worse. Half. Absolutely half. But something ain't right. That's it. That's all. Moving on to satisfaction. And this is why I proudly wear this shirt. Escape the world. Bet not bring me back. I don't even want. Please don't reincarnate me. Don't reincarnate me. Let me get it right this time. Because I don't want to come back to this motherfucker. I don't. I don't, y'all. You know, to each his own. Everybody may feel differently. I would much rather be like a spirit guide or something. Like, I just, I can't. I just can't. Like, if this is what I'm going through now, like, if they, they messing with the, the food is messed up, animals are dying, don't, just don't, just don't. <laughs> Lord, don't do it. Anyway, let me move on, y'all, because I play too much. Anyway, so the next one we have is satisfaction. It says you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. Oh, my gosh. You let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. What other people think of you is none of your business. You should never look outside yourself for acceptance or validation because it sends the message that you don't trust your own soul's worth. Oh, my Lord. S speak that. Sh this is a good. I really do love this. I don't know why I don't work with this more. So, really, these are really good messages. Like, I really like them. They're, like, powerful. Um, But anyway, it says what other people think of you is none of your business. You should never look outside of yourself for acceptance or validation because it sends the message that you don't trust your own soul's worth. When you are in a space of self-acceptance, you confirm to the universe that you are everything you are meant to be. Fobbles and all. Foibles and all? Fobbles and all. In this awareness, you are able to live freely and joyful because you are not seeking validation through someone or something else. I felt it. I didn't even have to. Crazy. I didn't even have to get into the textbook definition and know what spirit was trying to say. I just get like sick. I don't care if I'm sick. I'm still, I'm still. Sh <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Sharp as a knife. 
maybe a butter knife today, you know, maybe a butter knife, you know, but that third eye still open, open, but my nose ain't, <laughs> my nasal pathogens aren't, but this third eye, bow, <laughs> it's open, anyway, okay, so it says the universe that, so it's, it's blah, 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 blah. I have to go back because I kind of lost where I was. It says, you confirm to the universe that you are everything that you are meant to be. Fobbles and awe in the awareness that you are able to live freely and joyful because you are not seeking validation through someone or something else. You can live your life and make choices out of love instead of fear. To, to enter this space, you must have the realization that your soul's makeup is divinely perfect. The limitations you've placed on yourself and your and your self criticisms are usually based on giving away your power to another or seeking outside approval. The ego is judgmental and critical and filled with insecurities, while the soul is perfectly at ease and has come back here to enjoy a journey of self discovery. One of the biggest traps is learning to be satisfied. Is learning. Yes, one of the wait, one of the biggest traps in learning to be satisfied is comparing yourself to others. Comparison is the thief of joy, y'all. It is. Remember that you have come back to an earth school made up of myriads, myriad souls and experiences. You aren't meant to be like anyone else. Love yourself for being the compassionate, unique person you are. Guys, yes. And, and if you resonate with this message, like, bro, I promise you I'm right there with you because I I have days where it's just like, maybe it's just the duality I represent, but I have days where I'm just so confident and just so bubbly and just so, I post stuff on Instagram and I be like, I know people think I'm fucking crazy. And I be like, I don't care. And other days it's like, I get the overthinking, like, am I doing too much? Am I saying too much? Am I posting too much? Like, am I just doing too much? And it's like, who gives a fuck? It makes me feel good when I do it, though. I think just to be authentically you and not care about what anybody thinks is the most beautiful thing ever like there's a girl here in the city and people are always talking about her they always talk about her because she is just she's the baddest bitch ever to me if you ask me she just don't give a fuck she always wears a dress she always wears like really bedazzly extra like every day i don't think i've ever seen her in anything outside of a dress and heels and a lot of people were like talk about her on facebook sometimes pittsburgh really does get on my nerves because you know we're a small city and sometimes it's like well, at least for like like the urban the urban community, our stomping grounds are a little small. So it's like there's not a lot of excitement. So the the smallest little talk of the town gets blew up to be like the biggest shit ever because ain't nobody got nothing going on. Like not everybody, but a lot of people just don't got nothing going on. <coughs> so like I'll see people talk about her on like the internet and stuff, and I really hate it. But but what I love about her is she it doesn't deter her from anything it's like she's not she lives in her own world she's happy she's confident and she don't give a fuck what nobody feels and i think that is the dopest coolest most admirable shit ever i think it is so cool it, it really is that is so beautiful that has to be so liberating and free to just not give a fuck what nobody thinks and that's what spirit's telling you to do and, you know, it may take some time, you know, it may take some time. If you spend most of your life wanting to be validated, wanting to fit in, wanting to be a part of certain, you know, social, like we're, we're kind of conditioned to want to fit into certain social groups. You get what I'm saying? From school to the workplace to the whatever, like nobody wants to be fucking outcasted. But the reality of the situation is that is so much, that is so much a part of the matrix trap. If you ask me, be who you are. Be who you are, authentically you. And I'm teaching that to y'all as I'm teaching it to myself, promise. But yeah, that's so like, it's just so cool. This is so cool. I love, oh, the next, and literally right after satisfaction is the next card that I pulled, which is self-love. I don't even have to flip through the book. 
And that's, you know what, and that is a part of self-love. Not caring what anybody fit, how anybody feels. Validating yourself. Doing what makes you happy regardless of, as long as you're not doing something that harms somebody else, do what makes, do what makes you happy. That's an act of self-love. That may actually be, you know, ooh, so cool. I was so happy to have seen this. But, um... I guess I don't know what it was like somebody was doing like a study of like measuring different vibrational frequencies and you know how I like most of us most of us have preached that love is like the highest strongest vibrational frequency but do you know what's even higher than that what's even greater and more powerful than love it's than the frequency of love is authenticity I was like, wow, that's really dope. That's actually really dope. So somebody who is vibrating from a place of authenticity, their vibration is higher than anybody else's. And I'm like, cool. That's like really cool. And it says so much. You know, it says so much. All right. So it says self-love. You realize that love of self is necessary to love another. As the old saying goes, you can't love somebody else until you love yourself. It's true. The most important goal you can achieve in this physical dimension. Okay. In this physical in this physical dimension is that of loving yourself unconditionally. And it's a tough one. You are the very person who knows your dark secrets, faults, shortcomings the best. It's easy to see the good in other people because you don't know anyone but yourself inside and out. Do you really think that you're the only person you know who is not worthy of your love? Oh, wow. Do you really think that you're the only person you know who is not worthy of your love? Your soul is perfect. Your human shell is imperfect. And so is everyone else's. The quality of love you give out is only as good as the quality quality of love you have for yourself. So stop shortchanging the world by not loving yourself with the same intensity you do others. Oh my gosh, this is powerful. Is it a tearjerker for somebody? Because it's a tearjerker for me. So stop short so stop shortchanging the world. By not loving yourself with the same intensity you do others. You've made mistakes, but you've learned from them. You have. With the ownership card, you have. You've made mistakes, but you've learned from them. That's, that's what progress and spiritual evolution are all about. Love your weaknesses as much as your strengths. Because they are your teachers. Mm. Goddamn spirit. Shit, it's a good ass message. Show sure is. <laughs> Y'all have to do so much. <clears throat> but I'm learning how to just be authentically myself. I may lose some subscribers. I may gain a ton. Who knows? Let's see where the wind blows. Moving on. Um, we're going to close out the reading with some messages from the universe. I really think this message was just really powerful and beautiful. It really is. I loved it. I feel like it been like I benefited from this message a lot. I might need I'm going to watch this back myself for myself, shit. Absolutely. Yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Divine spirit guides, angels, ancestors, cosmic family of the brightest love, light, healing, prosperity and protection. Please give me clear and accurate messages. For the divine collective that's in alignment with this spread today what more do do we need to hear what is it that our higher self wants us to hear and know to close out this reading hate like when you kept it's like i just caught 112 
Like, I couldn't catch 111. <laughs> you ever catch a synchronicity, like, right after it was a synchronicity? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> mm, anyway, let's see here. It says, the reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next. They have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming. Yeah. Absolutely. I feel like I just heard like low vibrational people are being removed. Because you're raising yourself to a higher vibration. A higher frequency. Like, you know, what brings us into, you know, um, what allows us to even be able to coexist with people, to have stuff in common with people, is that we're vibrating at a similar frequency. So if one person begins to raise their vibrational frequency, naturally, you two don't coexist. It's like it's you've elevated out of this person's energy field. And that's okay. But when you try to do things like you're trying to force somebody to raise up to where you are, or maybe you're trying to pull yourself down, because there's really the, that's really the only thing you can do to make it work. You can't be like, oh, I'm on this path of evolving and blah, 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 of self-love and, you know, taking accountability for my actions and stuff like that. And then you're dealing with somebody who's not in that energy, who's in energy of they're still not taking accountability. They, they're not practicing acts of self-love they're still playing victim you cannot coexist with these people anymore unless one of the two things happen you lower yourself to their frequency or they raise up to yours and quite frankly it's not your responsibility to do either uh, to do one either or of those situ uh, either either one of those things it's not your responsibility to do that next one is choice is the most powerful tool you have Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors, bringing new experiences into your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. That's what that action, that action card. Anyway, it says, if you're feeling stuck in any area of your life, whether it is in a relationship, a job, or just a situation, ask yourself, what is stopping me from leaving? Yes, leaving is scary, but sometimes it is the right step to take. Be brave. We are right beside you. So everybody's on different timelines. Some of you are actually still in this energy where maybe you are still maybe tied to someone who's toxic, friendships, whatever. Still struggling to, you know, uh, sh struggling to um separate from somebody that you feel like has validated you in some type of way the next one we just got is if you didn't get something you really wanted at this time if you feel stuck or feel like things are not going according to your plans know that something bigger and better is coming it's something filled with divine magic that couldn't come into your life if you were to receive what you were asking for now yeah some people are, aren't in the right energy to receive what it is that they're actually trying to manifest. Rather, that's internal or whether that's your internal world or your external world. It says, in relationships, the biggest thing you must look for is consistency. Every time you forgive someone who is not being consistent with you, you are giving them permission to hurt you again. You deserve better. The next one is, ooh, just got the chills. Don't worry, everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being, yeah, you know what? With this this last relationship card and a relationship card, for some of you, your your manifestations, your blessings, whatever it is that you're that that you want for yourself, it's not gonna come in until you get somebody who's not good for you out of your freaking energy. Whether this is romantic or platonic, they need to go. And you know who it is. It could be scary. Like they're saying, change can be scary, but. But clearly you're, feel you're feeling stuck. And you know what? Deadass. 
when you are holding on to a person longer than your soul is intended for you to deal with that person or you know or yeah to, to deal with that person you do feel stuck it's like you will not it's almost like the universe will not allow you to progress to another level like you were only meant to reach this place with this person but you're trying to go here it was never intended for you to reach that place with that person in your energy and i really feel like when it's just to a point where it's like you reach a point where you're like stuck in a relationship is stagnant like you guys are just not progressing you're repeating the same loops over and over again it's because it's time for you to get out of that person's energy you've evolved out of this person's energy you are evolving out of this person's energy and like I said, either one of the two things are going to happen if you're trying to coexist with this person or make this work. One, in this situation, based on what the cards are saying, you're going to forfeit <coughs> forfeit blessings and abundance that's supposed to be coming your way. That's number one. And two, you can either do one of the two things to make you two coexist, which is you lower yourself to their frequency or you force them to raise to yours. And I'm just going to be perfectly honest. Some people, it's not, it's not in their... It's not, they're not going to wake up in this lifetime. Some people just aren't. So we have to learn how to release people with love. You know, give them the space to, you know, maybe make them way, make their way or raise their, raise to the, raise up to their, raise up to where you are. But spirit, I mean, spirit is saying a lot. Like if somebody isn't showing you consistency every time you forgive them. You're giving them permission to hurt you again. Like, it's, you're not even in a, you're not even, this, this, like, whoever this is, you're not even in a healthy situation. It's not even healthy. But anyway, it says, the last one was, don't worry. Everything you've been waiting for is on its way. Progress is being made, even if you can't, even if you can't yet see the results. So much is happening behind the scenes for the creation of your dreams. Trust the process. And you know what happens? Trust the process. Because somebody can be like, for somebody specific, like you're trying to hold on to somebody for dear life. And quite frankly, when you do that and the universe is is, is really wanting you to release a person, it's just, it gets harder. It gets far more difficult to deal with the person. It says your time is coming. Everything is coming together for you. But you must meet the universe halfway. Hold only, hold only a, a bright and happy vision of yourself. With, su with successful outcomes and don't allow your fears or insecurities to stand in your way yeah one more spirit I mean one more okay it says you're going to be celebrating something very special soon you'll be so full of joy and happiness it will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all how suddenly it all happens for you be ready for it expect it it is happening so some of you i just got the energy or the confirmation like some of you are on, on different timelines some of you are still in a toxic connection some of you are already out of it and you're just on your single self-love journey but i'm getting like it's weird because i'm getting like two energies here like some of this applied like some of these messages apply to somebody who's already out of the toxic relationship or newly out of the toxic relationship is what I'm really thinking. And for some of you, you're still in it. But you're definitely at a point where it's like, bro, this ain't working. You're definitely at a point where you're contemplating on this isn't working. You may, your ego may, may be trying to make you hold on more or fight harder. But deep down inside, on a subconscious level, you know that whoever it is that you're dealing with is not good for you. It's not good for you. They're not trying to go where you're trying to go. Yeah, but that's what I got. Um, so this has been your reading collective. I really do hope that it resonated. If so, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is just a beautiful way to energetically donate back to the channel. And it's also a very beautiful way to help me better channel for you um, in future readings. But I love you all so, so much.